More incriminating documents released tonight as the Senate prepares for the president's impeachment trial. Ominous text messages suggest Ambassador Marie Ivanovich was being watched closely. KCAL 9 political reporter Randy Page is here now, has details. These texts just keep on coming. You know, you have to wonder is there something to it? More chilling documents released tonight by House Democrats that appear to show fired U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine Marie Ivanovich may have been under surveillance. The documents provided by Rudy Giuliani associate Lev Parnas include screenshots of undated text messages that appear to show Trump donor Robert Hyde in a text conversation with an unknown person using a Belgian phone number, which includes a photograph of then Ambassador Yovanovitch. My contacts are checking the Belgian phone texts. I will give you the address next week. Hyde replies, awesome. In another series of texts, the Belgian number texts, nothing has changed. She is still not moving. They check today again, adding ominously, it's confirmed we have a person inside. In a later exchange, the Belgian number texts, she had visitors. Hyde appeared to share these text messages with Parnas, and that's how they wound up on Parnas's phone, which he turned over to investigators. These text messages may provide a whole new meaning to portions of the former ambassador's testimony before the House Intelligence Committee in November. And in your efforts fighting corruption to advance U.S. policy interests, did you anger some of the corrupt leaders in Ukraine? Yes. Ambassador Yovanovitch testified about a phone call she received late at night from a State Department official that sent chills up her spine. Uh, around one o'clock uh, in, uh, in the morning, uh, she called me again and she said that um, there were great concerns, um, there were concerns up the street, and she um, said I needed to get on the home, come home immediately, get on the next plane um, to the U.S. Um, and I asked her why, <laughs> and she said she wasn't sure, but there were concerns about my security. Did she explain what the urgency was for you to come back on the next flight? Uh, the only thing that's pertinent to that was that when she said that they were, there were concerns about my security. That's all. But it was not further explained. Ambassador Yovanovitch said she jumped on a plane back to the United States that night, but was never informed what the concerns for her safety were all about. Earlier this week, more text messages between Hyde and Parnas were released that also appear to discuss Yovanovitch's movements. She's next to the embassy, Hyde writes. Then later, they will let me know when she's on the move. Today, in a radio interview, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo claimed he knew nothing about any surveillance of Yovanovitch. I'll tell the story, Brooke. I had, had best of my recollection, I'd, I'd never heard of this at all. Hyde denies ever tracking her. Those are pretty heavy accusations. I mean, I mean, it was just colorful. We were playing. Parnas told CNN's Anderson Cooper he didn't take Hyde seriously. I'll be honest with you. If I thought he was, it was real, I would have contacted the authorities. So was the unknown person using the Belgian phone number really surveilling Marie Ivanovich? And if so, is there any connection between the cast of characters who apparently wanted to see her removed from her post? Well, tonight, the answer is frankly still a mystery. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo today says he will do everything possible to evaluate whether or not she was under illegal surveillance or whether there was a threat to her security. But Secretary Pompeo also said he suspects much of what's being reported here will ultimately prove to be wrong. Very interesting. Thank you, Randy. Yeah.